Hello and welcome to the first episode of my new Let's Play Super Mario Bros. U. Uh, this video is series is going to take place with me and my brother alternating between, uh, I guess, boost mode. One of us will be using the gamepad, and the other one of us will be using the Wii remote. Now, we will take turns on every level, so one of us will be creating the blocks one time, the next time the other one will be. So it's an interesting little feature that they've put into this game. You can use it to help each other or you can use it to make life a living hell. And my brother tends to try and make my life a hell more often than not. But anyways, we got ourselves the standard stereotypical Mario intro. Uh, everyone's all happy, having a nice little dinner, and then Bowser attacks with his army of warships and his, I guess, kids. Uh, not a whole lot of plot development in Mario games, but this is what we've come to know, expect, and love. And of course, he's just going to punch everybody. Won't kill us. Scoop us up. And, uh... I guess that's why we had to work our way through the Mushroom Kingdom and back to the castle. But for now, we're going to land in this tree with a new power-up. Squirrel suit, essentially. Um... There's not a whole lot of new features to this Mario game compared to a lot of the other ones, and it's really to be expected. Um, there is this new item that we see falling all over and turns uh, your character into a squirrel kind of item where you can glide. It's almost like the Tanuki suit, but a little bit more sophisticated. Besides that, we do have the gamepad features where you can create blocks at will, and you can also get powered up and kill enemies and kind of assist each other. That's the only real new additions to the game outside of some Miiverse features which aren't anything that really adds to the gameplay. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started here shortly as soon as all of the Koopa kids work their way throughout the kingdom and get situated where they want to hide out. This is going to be a quick but fun let's play kind of hold things over until some more Zelda stuff comes out. And we'll go ahead and get started. I will be using the gamepad to start with. And uh, as you will tell, I'm a little bit more helpful than my brother tends to be. As you see here, um, all these blocks that show up, they are done from the gamepad by just simply touching the screen. And it can help you get higher. If you tap on different enemies, it will sometimes kill them, make them change direction, stop them in their tracks, a bunch of different things. As my brother's off to a great start here. Um, anyways, we are just going to have a lot of fun. It's not a serious let's play. I guess this is technically a blind let's play as this is the first time we have played it. But uh, it's a Mario game. It's not exactly like there's a whole lot going on that needs help. But as you can see, you can use the gamepad to work your way up, get to uh, hidden areas, and uh, yeah, it's very, it's kind of a cool feature. What probably would be more fun is if I had more than one Wiimote. Both of us could play, like one of us as Mario, one as Luigi slash Toad, and we can like fight each other, kind of like the Mario uh, on the Wii. But that's not what's going to happen. Um, a lot of the same features return, like these uh, red loops, uh, which causes red coins to appear, which you can collect, and if you collect them all, you get an item. We're going to be kind of. We're very um, into just getting through the level and skipping stuff. I will not be showing you guys how to get all the hidden coins, all the big coins, or doing anything like that, doing any of the extra side missions. It's going to be a straightforward um, kind of quest through. Just gonna give him a hard time here. He's trying to get up. He can't jump. He's got problems. And he's gonna teabag a little bit. Um, but yeah. Using blocks are a good way to get up to that flag and get yourself a 1-up. So anyways, stay in the level 1. Each video segment is going to take you through a save point. That normally happens at a castle, boss fight, something similar of that nature. So this is going to be my first turn going through. And each video should be around 8 to 15, maybe 20 minutes long depending on how bad we're doing. Um, I will keep the majority of the mistakes in the game and the majority of the times that we die but I will cut out a couple of segments and explain why when we get there. Anyways, my brother decided he was going to take the uh, the annoying approach with the gamepad assist 
functionality and he's just going to try and block me from everything and try and get me killed and he almost does quite often he just wanted to do it just once he does knock it off a little bit thankfully otherwise this LP probably would never finish but yeah he's just blocking me in constantly <laughs> uh, I'm gonna almost run out of time uh, anyways I, I think that this game does have some of the better designs and levels for a Mario game but with that said you still have your standard kind of features there's nothing that's really just mind-blowing that stands out um, to me lost levels kind of took the whole Mario formula and took it up a level and it, there hasn't been one really since then that kind of added features that were just really new to the series as you can see that floating star if uh if the person using a gamepad creates enough blocks that the main character jumps on again and again, then they will get a like, gamepad star, which allows them to kill any enemy with one hit. All they have to do is tap that enemy on the screen, it will take them out. Um, my brother's going to be really annoying here as I'm trying to jump over this cliff. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's a very lighthearted let's play, and it's going to be a lot of fun. After this one, I'm going to try and find another game, maybe handheld to do. I'm not quite sure yet, but I... Oh, almost died. <laughs> he almost had me, but I'm not just that good. Um, God, he's annoying. Alright. Now he's got me blocked up here. A lot of fun. <laughs> As you can see, this can get pretty annoying. Fairly quickly, I played uh, the demo for this game at E3 uh, last year out in Los Angeles, and and people were doing similar things. We were all giving each other a hard time trying to get through the levels. Uh, a lot of times, we were playing level one, two, and a lot of times we weren't making it because everybody was being intentionally annoying with the uh, blocks, which again they are there to assist, but a lot of people, as you can see, will try and be contrary to that. Uh, <clears throat> this level should have been done ages ago, but we'll get there. As you can see, you can bounce enemies and stuff, and, I, and you can kind of get them in the way. We tend to do that a lot with the uh, squirrels. When you tap on them, they kind of change direction and go up all of a sudden, and uh, we get each other hit quite often because of that. But for now, hopefully I can get through this level and hopefully not die. Time is running out pretty quickly. This is going to be fun. <laughs> now I am going to be doing more than Zelda on this channel. Uh, while it is, the channel serves as the primary uh, location for my site's uh, Zelda walkthroughs. I will also be doing let's plays and some gaming news and other kinds of things on here as well. So it's not just a strictly Zelda based channel or anything though the name of course kind of implies that. Uh, I will be getting a new uh, design here on the site soon kind of to feature that. <laughs> this is annoying. And uh, I am partnered with a new uh, channel now. I, I was previously with Machinima. And uh, I've moved away from them and I'm going to full screen now. Uh, it's kind of like a newer place and they're offering a lot of great benefits for YouTubers. So I definitely recommend checking out full screen if you are interested in getting partnered. Uh, they have a really quick turnaround rate for getting back to you and it's just very professional and I would highly suggest them over some other alternatives out there. Alright, so yeah, beat that, thankfully. Took long enough. As Bowser takes over the castle. I feel like that sh probably should have been an intro cutscene. Um, like all Mario games, for the longest time, I guess since the third one, you have these little options to gain items. Except they mix it up a little bit. They give you like a mini game kind of feel to it, which is uh, slightly different than some of the games. 
And while they're fun, they're also a little bit, I guess, tedious, and you get the point after a while. I'm trying to slam rock. No. My brother likes to have fun. Yep, teabag it. <laughs> we both like to teabag. Ever since we played Halo, um, we've gotten into teabagging on any game that we play. And this game is no exception. So it's going to be a lot of teabagging fun. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no people that we're playing with online that gets, gets to experience the joys of our pervertness. Perviness. However you want to say that. Ways. Acorn Plains. Castle 1. First castle in the game. Crushing Cogs Tower. Um... As you can notice, we are starting to build up a decent amount of lives. Uh, something that I really dislike about the Mario games, as of well, pretty much everything since the third one, all the 2D platformer Mario games, just they're way too easy. Lives are easy to come by, and by the end of the game, we'll have probably like 100 plus lives. It's really kind of irritating how easy they've made these games and yeah they, they've added some extra game modes on here to increase the difficulty but I would like just a game with the main quest actually having some challenge to it and that is something that we're not going to find here now what you'll notice is that these uh, these dry bones they're kinda like crumbling on their own what's happening is the person using the gamepad can actually like defeat enemies on their own without the main player actually having to help and again it's kind of a feature that makes things easy though this game mode is generally set up for the people who want the game to be easy but at the same time you get the point and I can see here we go And checkpoint. So we're getting on through here. I'm going to be annoying since he was to me kind of return to favor a little bit. But I want to hinder him or get him close to being killed. I'm not that mean. Yet, I will try that later as he almost dies twice. Jumping into that, that's a good way to get yourself killed. Um, here we go. There tends to be a lot of ice Mario in the castles. I think it is to kind of freeze these dry bones and similar enemies. But the, oh, the formula is essentially the same. We have ourselves these where we have two to three levels, castle. Um, the boss fights are kind of reminiscent of maybe Mario World with a Super Mario Bros. 3 in there um, where you have kind of this guy in the intermediate castles like Super Mario Bros. 3 and he, he just kind of runs around same idea three jumps on his head will kill him um, I'm trying to block my brother here and then at the uh, castles at the end of the levels you have kind of the Mario World mantra of actually fighting a Koopa kid <laughs> I'm really trying to get him killed alright so there's that and that will pretty much conclude the uh, first video in this new Let's Play, New Super Mario Bros. U. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and definitely check out my other videos. I have more Super Mario Bros. U coming soon. And they're going to get pretty fun, chaotic, and it's just a good series to check out. So stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, and subscribe if you would. Thank you very much, everybody.